In this video guide, we are going to see how we can import IFC format inside Unreal Engine 5. So we're going to start with a new template, as usual, and this is going to be just the, the beginning part in Italian, but the rest is going to be in English. So I'm just going to launch here really easy Unreal Engine 5. And if you don't know the basics about Unreal Engine, you can check the video course in our channel and other lessons about Unreal Editor. So um, while we are waiting for the editor to open, let's talk about IFC. Now, IFC, it's a format which is used in the AEC industry, which means architecture, engineering, and construction. And it's, um, the meaning is industry foundation classes, but essentially it's a format that gives you the opportunity to work with different building information modeling software, so BIM, and in different industries also, perhaps. So architecture, engineering, construction, this, the, this is the meaning of AEC. And using that particular format, so if you use Revit, for example, it's one of the most popular BIM application or BIM application. Or if you use another one, like Archicad or another, you can pass the file or pass the project to another uh, colleague or to another professional by using this format right here that they all share. So it's kind of a standard that it's uh, like for interoperability, basically to communicate with various software. But you probably know what IFC is by now. You can also search for additional information on the web. But what, what we're going to do here is we're going to bring IFC which can come from a CAD application or a BIM application or whatever inside Unreal Engine. I'm gonna create a new template here, first person, and we're also gonna see some few tricks if you want to customize the level a little bit in order to be like less for video game and entertainment and more for architectural visualization and uh, ArcVis and uh, display your project if you are like working with a client or if you want to show it to your uh, professor at the university, you are doing an exam. So you can use this for many reasons. Now, first thing I'm doing here is I'm deleting stuff from the original template because I just want to show you here real quick that you have the outliner. You can delete stuff from the outliner. You can manage the stuff from the in the scene from the outliner. And again, this is not going to be a complete course in a real engine. It's just going to be a quick introduction to this topic and if you're interested you can check all the video course all the lessons all all the classes in the video course of in a real engine that we have in the channel and if you want you can write for assistance now i'm also gonna delete that weapon right there so everything looks nice and clean now and i have a player right there that's where my player is gonna start which means the beginning point of my interaction. I can create animation in a real engine. I can interact, I can explore, I can walk through the architecture. I can go up the stairs, down the stairs. So I can really like have a virtual reality uh, project. So I can test my architecture, my uh, engineering project or whatever. Now I'm also gonna go here in the blueprints. I'm gonna open up the blueprints first person character and go in the viewport and also get rid of the hand or the, the arms, which I don't need. Because I'm again, I want to do something serious, not for entertainment. I want to do some architectural animation or rendering or interaction using a real engine and the Lumen global illumination, the, the latest technology in uh, lightning. And uh, so I'm just going to get rid of everything I don't need. Now in the edit menu in the plugins, we can search for IFC and look for Datasmith IFC Importer. And that's restart, save everything, and we're gonna have then the, the importer installed. Now Datasmith is used basically to export anything from any software, any 3D software. So you can use it with any 3D software and also with IFC files format. So, what we're going to do now that we restarted the level, we're going to go to the place actor. We're going to add here an element. You can see now we have data smith. You can either import or link. Now, if you link, you can maintain and work simultaneously with the original software and with the real engine. 
If you do import, you're just going to import everything inside a real engine. So I have a folder here where I've just stored uh, an IFC from a previous course in Revit. So I'm going to open it up. And again, if you're interested in Revit or other software, just check in the channel. You will find many video courses. Also, again, you can write for assistance in the comments. You can make your questions, give suggestions also to us or the other users. So I'm going to create a folder here called EFC when I import, and I'm going to try to import everything, but I already know that I cannot import lights, but I can import um, objects and also the base of what my materials will be. So you can see here, it looks like an, arch an architectural model, really simple. It it's uh, really simple because um, uh, the BIM, it's a really simple software and can't handle too many polygons, too many meshes, but you can do that in a real engine. So you can uh, import uh, objects, vehicles, plants, uh, people from twin motion packages. There is a, a, lo a lot of other videos explaining all this in the channel. And again, write if you want some indications. Now you can see in the outliner, everything has been imported correctly, the families, the types, and so I do have everything here to start, but that's just the beginning point. So if I go in the content drawer as well, down below, we can see there is a geometry folder and a material folder. So this is what we have imported at the moment. We have imported the objects of the scene and the entire scene as it was conceived in Revit probably, and also the materials, but these are not realistic materials. Of course, they look like, again, like an architectural model. So you can see in geometry folder, we have all the different pieces that we can edit one by one. And in the materials folder, we have all the materials that we can edit one by one and recreate a more realistic material inside a real engine. And using the marker plates, you can find realistic materials also in the video course uh, about a real engine you will find also a lot of lessons talking about how to create realistic materials with textures and so on. But the good news is that you can see that I, I went inside the material using the content drawer and I just need to edit this. When I If I add bricks, for example, to this material, all the objects that have this material applied will have bricks. So, you know, all the manager, all the management part has been taken care of. All we need to do is just substitute the fake material with a more realistic material. And of course, we need to add lights here. We, we are missing some lights if you want to go in the interiors, but we do already have the sun and the sky. Now, if I press a simulation, let's see a little bit of walking around. You can see I'm walking through, but as soon as I step off the original ground of the template, I'm going to fall into the emptiness. So I'm going to delete the original floor now as well. So nothing is keeping me from falling, but now let's fix this real quick just to show you another feature of a real engine. So if I select this object right here and I go in the content drawer and uh, just browse to asset, I can directly go to the geometry and inside the editor. So this is the static mesh editor. You can see the entire floor of the scene. Well, this could be a really complex collision, but I'm going to do something real simple. Now collision is the thing that will not let you fall in the emptiness and you can use it to again walk on the stairs not passing through the walls so it's, it's gonna give you give a realism to the virtual reality world that you're building. So right now it's, this is just an introduction you will find all the rest in the Unreal Engine video course I'm just gonna show you what's gonna happen here if I press play once again and I should do that with everything, with trees, with walls, with columns. I should add collisions for everything. Otherwise, you can see here I'm like a ghost. I can pass through the walls and here I am in the inside. Also, I would need here a nice glass material for these glasses of the building. So that's basically it. This is just, again, an introduction just to get you started. If you're interested, once you are in this position right here that you have your project imported, it's all a matter of setting up the materials, setting up the lights, importing new props, people, vegetation, vehicles, something that can enrich your scene, and that's it. And 
the job is done. So this would be all for this video guide. If you enjoyed, please subscribe to the channel. If you want to give us a little bit of support, you can join the channel and uh, see you in the next video.